Hello, all my YouTube lovelies. How are we all doing tonight? Uh, thank you for tuning in to the second video of the Graves Girl Chronicles. Uh, on tonight's topic list, we are going to discuss thyroid eye disease or Graves ophthalmology. Um, as I had disclosed on my intro video and as it is listed on the description of my channel, I have both Graves and Hashimoto's disease and I am trying to learn how to cope, live, thrive, and just get by and handle all this mess. <laughs> Last month I was diagnosed with having the Graves ophthalmology as well. Did not realize that 50% of Graves uh, sufferers also suffer from the ophthalmology. Uh, for some reason I guess I thought that it was a little bit less, but um, yeah, I am one of that 50%. So now I get to handle and toss that into the mix. And really, I feel like that's been a little bit more of the handful than the rest. I think we're close on getting my Synthroid straightened out. I feel the best I ever have. Um, like I discussed in my intro video, it was a four year fight to figure out what was wrong with me. And by the time the four years that I got the, the, to the diagnosis, I was just Ugh. I mean, it was not good. I was not me. I felt all kinds of out of sorts and like I couldn't put one foot in front of the other. So definitely glad that I'm to the point that I am now um, fighting some severe dry eye um, with the ophthalmology. I have the lid retraction and uh, protrusion. So my eyelids do not close all the way. So therefore, my ophthalmologist has got me on this wonderful regime um, to manage those symptoms because right now until we can kind of address what I've got going on and what the next steps are going to be on care and treatment, we've just got to really get down what swelling is not the ophthalmology and what's environmental uh, allergy related. I have horrible allergies too. <laughs> Surprise, surprise. Uh, so yeah, uh, he's got me on a very rigorous cleansing and eye drop routine. So if you see anything on today's video that piques your interest, tickles your fancy, um, I am not a medical professional. I'm not claiming to be a medical professional. I'm not giving you medical advice. I'm just letting you know what I'm going through. And if it piques your interest, take it back to your medical team and discuss um, if it's going to be compatible with your course of treatment or what you're suffering with. A lot of what my ophthalmologist has me on really is good for people who suffer from eyelid swelling or I believe the condition is called blepharitis. I may have just murdered that, but I also have that, the eyelid swelling. Uh, if you have really severe dry eye, you can get blepharitis. If you have Graves ophthalmology, you can have blepharitis. Um, yeah, it really kind of sounds like that's pretty common. So a lot of this kind of helps to soothe that swelling, get out and wash away irritants that can be causing additional swelling and making my life miserable. And like I said, since my eyelids don't close, I've got a really rigorous routine of eye drops and night gel so that they're nice and hydrated. Because if they're not hydrated, you're in a whole world of hurt. And honestly, I was having some visual disturbances caused from a lot of the dryness, but I think I'm also kind of experiencing some visual disturbances also from the uh, Graves ophthalmology, but that's what the uh, um, specialist is going to help us determine next month. So all fingers crossed, it's just severe dryness. So how do I get started of an evening? I do this twice a day. So how do I get started for the day or wind down for the night? All starts the same. Uh, wash your face. So most people always wash their face, you know, unless you're an animal, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Even then, I think my cat, you know, she grooms and washes her face. So, you know, that's how we all do. That's how we start our day. That's how we end our day. Take the makeup off, wash off the day. Um, he did not, oh, I'm sorry, let me start over there. He informed me, which I did not know, that when you use a eye makeup remover that is quote unquote oil free, you still are leaving behind oils that need to be cleansed away. Um, so even if you're just a lady that really likes your makeup and you use a lot of makeup remover, uh, this cleansing routine might still be something you might want to look into, especially with the first step, because really removing the makeup remover could really help you out in the long run um, from avoiding getting any kind of eye infection or eye irritation, especially if you have any allergies that you suffer from. So we've washed our face and we've removed our makeup. And the first step is to shampoo our eyes. And eyebrow area with 
Johnson's baby shampoo or a tear free baby shampoo. I took the personal choice to get the name brand. You could get the off brand and try it. I'm sure it's probably just the same. Since my eyes were severely irritated when I found out about all of this, I wanted something that I knew was going to be gentle and I could trust Johnson's. It's been around probably a hundred years. Our mothers used it on us. Our mother's mothers used it on our mothers and our fathers and our siblings and everybody that's probably had this used on them at some point. So yes, Johnson's definitely nice and gentle. So um, scrub everything off, remove the makeup remover with Johnson's. Second step is to then sterilize the eyelids with Theratears Sterilid. It is a gentle foaming cleanser. Well, it says gentle foaming cleanser. The consistency of the foam is gentle and soft, but it has tea tree oil on it, so it burns. Burns pretty good. I've had worse paper cuts that hurt worse, but it's very refreshing. We'll put it that way. <laughs> um, so yeah, all full disclosure, be prepared for it to burn some. Um, is it something that is just, oh my God, so painful. You can't get past it. No, you can get past it. Honestly, I'm about a month to five weeks in on using all of this. And really the stingy tingle burn really doesn't bother me anymore. I find it more refreshing now. Definitely an easy way to wake up in the morning when you're having to get up at like 4.35 o'clock in the morning so that you can do your entire routine and be at work at 7. So, yeah. Therilid, Theratears Sterilid. Gentle foaming cleanser to cleanse away all irritants. So, I guess I did get ahead of myself because before, when we've just removed all our makeup and we've got clean skin, he did say my ophthalmologist wanted me to lay with a hot compress on my eyes for 10 minutes. Now, when I hear hot compress, automatically I think hot war trick. Who doesn't think that? So first couple of times I do it, I get my nice hot wash rag three minutes into it. My hot wash rag is now lukewarm. Three additional minutes into it, so six minutes into the 10 minutes, and um, it's no longer lukewarm. It's cold. So for the remaining four minutes of the 10 minutes, you got a cold compress on your face. Yeah, doesn't really kind of work the same way. So I did a little bit of research and I did find out that they do make nukable eye masks. Because I've heard about the ones you put in the freezer, you put in the fridge and it's cool and it's refreshing on your face. Um, so yeah, I thought surely they've got to make microwavable ones. So I found a gel bead eye mask from Spa Solutions at TJ Maxx. Now, cyber show of hands, who loves TJ Maxx? I know, I sure do. Um, so I went into their little spa and beauty section and I found these. And I bought two of them because the gel bead to me, I just didn't think that it would hold up very well. And true to form, it's probably half as many little beads in it as there was. And I've been using this one probably for at least the four weeks maybe a little bit over, um, four weeks. And, you know, if you just don't get a little bit of, like, you know, Anastasia Beverly Hills, like, brow whiz or dip brow completely off, it gets discolored, and you really can't wash these. I mean, I don't think I'd really want to try even hand washing this. I think I'd make a bigger mess. So, I looked on Amazon, and I found that they make a, now I'm going to murder this probably technical term again, but blepharitis, or eyelid swelling, uh, swelling of the eyelids, condition, hot pack. So, shaky, shaky, shaky. Um, yeah, it has the beans in it, so just like your typical microwavable bean bag hot pack, in an eye mask. And it even has a little pocket here where you can remove the heating pack. And so you could launder this cover and the site that I got it from on Amazon or the storefront from Amazon that I got it from sells it in a two pack. There is a gray one slash silver and the black one. And according to the directions, it really kind of like the silver one was kind of more for eye fatigue and eye strain. And this one's more for like the eyelid swelling and everything. I don't know that I really can tell the difference. I've tried them out both to really see if there's a difference. No. They're made out of the same things. It's got the same like buckwheat filler in it. It's the same thing. One's gray, one's black. So the fact is that I've got two of these. So if one, you know, gets a hole in it and the beans all come out, 
I got a whole nother one back up. It was relatively cheap on Amazon. I think $15 for the two packs. So they came out to like $7 a piece. It's here in two days. It was Amazon Prime. It's totally great. Um, this one nukes for 30 to 35 seconds, depending upon your microwave. And it's the right temperature. It is not too hot. It is not too cold. These had a tendency that it was a very fine line between not warm enough and getting cold before the end of the 10 minutes and getting like nuclear too hot. Um, more times than not, I got this one way too hot and yeah, that was just not good. So I really suggest the bean ones. They may be a little bit more than the bead ones, but trust me, they're definitely worth a couple extra bucks. So we've done a hot compress. We've scrubbed with Johnson's baby shampoo. We've done our Theratears foaming cleanser gel Bernie tea tree crap. Um, we are clean and good to go to bed or we are ready to start our day and do our makeup. So twice a day, that's my life. In the interim, Genteel Tears. Now I messed up and got the mild dry eye relief. I really need their moderate to severe and I got a two pack on Amazon of these. So when the other bottle is gone, which this one's practically gone. Um, yeah, I'm going to fix that issue. So I'm going to get me the right moderate stuff, which this has worked. Granted, I'm a little more red eyed today. Again, that's the makeup irritant. Not so much that I didn't have effective um, eye drops. But anyway, gentle tears. I do this six times a day. Yes, let me repeat that. I do this six times a day. Six o'clock, nine o'clock, noon, three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock, scrub my face, 10 o'clock, put in night gel. And night gel is also the Genteel Tears night gel. I didn't grab it. It's in the other room. But um, I think honestly, Genteel and Sustain both make a night gel drop. And it's just a thicker consistency that stays in the eye to help coat it. So that when your eyelids don't close at night, they're not drying out or continuing to dry out like they would do during the day. One thing I did do to help boost the night gel, and this was just kind of my own idea. I used to love sleep masks as like a junior high, you know, preteen. I thought they were so luxurious and just, you know, feminine and girly. So I thought, you know, they put a little bit of pressure on your eyelids and kind of help block out the light. So they probably would kind of help hold your eyelids closed. So I got me just a little satin, loose elastic um, sleep mask. And so I put the night gel in, pat the excess out that kind of tears out, and then put my sleep mask on and go to bed. And the nights that I do use the sleep mask in addition to the night gel, I really do wake up with eyes that really don't feel near as dry, usually aren't nearly as red, and don't really give me as much problems throughout the rest of the day as when I've forgotten the mask or something else. So, yes, full disclosure. Have I been completely diligent in doing the two times a day on my washing routine? No. There have been some days I forgot. There have been some days I have come home and crashed and I have just completely fell asleep. I was doing good to get my makeup off. Then I was going to be the perfect, you know, good patient and go get my hot compress and microwave it. And it was all nice and toasty. Tell Alexa to set a 10 minute timer. And the timer goes off and I don't wake up because something hot and toasty and relaxing on my face put me to sleep. So yeah, there's been some times I've not done that evening wash routine, which that one's probably the most critical because it's removing all the excess stuff from removing the day. So we're human. We forget. We fall asleep. It's part of the process. It's part of learning to live with all that's going on. And we've got to cut ourselves some slack. So I think the takeaway is give ourselves some grace, but at the same time, hold ourselves accountable to our care plan. We can't get slip shoddy. Um, it's easy to get busy. This board meeting, that staff meeting, uh, that errand that I've got to go run is going to take precedence right now over putting the drops in my eyes and I can't take the two seconds. No, 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 I'm too busy. One missed eye drop time turns into, well, I catch the next one, but then I miss the next one after that and six times turns into four, turns into three. So we have to make sure to put ourselves first. 
That is the biggest thing I'm really learning on this. You cannot perform optimally in a job. You cannot perform optimally in life and give to your friends and family if you don't take the time that you need for you. So yes, I need to take that 10 minutes to put that hot compress on my eyes. I need to take that additional 10 minutes to do this cleansing routine. I need to take that three seconds to put eye drops in my eyes with the additional 10 seconds that it's going to take for my eyes to clear. So um, yeah, just take those few little moments that you need for yourself because they're important. And in the long run, in the big scheme of things, it's going to be what helps make everything feel better. And when you feel better, you do better. And you live better. So that is my little care routine of how I am learning to live and keep on keeping on with having uh, Graves Ophthalmology. Um, if there's any of the products that you have seen in today's video that you would like any kind of links to, have any questions about, please feel free to leave those in the comments below. If you have any questions about my skincare routine or the Clinique products that I use or any of the other makeup products that I use, also feel free to leave those in the comments. I do figure I'll probably do some videos with some different makeup tutorials because certain kinds of smoky eyes and certain ways that you can line can kind of help narrow the eye so it doesn't look so wide open and starey as sometimes our eyes can get. Um, so that's kind of some of the videos I kind of hope to have on tap coming up here in the future. Um, I'm excited because I just got my Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer um, that he released on Good Friday. And let me tell you, ladies, it is fabulous. I've been able to play a little bit with it. Um, not wearing it today yet. Um, like I said, I just got it. Just that little swatching on the inner wrist. And I didn't think there was any kind of makeup that came this white for me other than like a true white concealer, which there are a few brands that do do that. He does as well and love it the formula is great on it, but he also does a green cream. And let's face it, when we've got some red and stuff that we're trying to hide, green is perfect. And it's got good coverage for, you know, the swatches that I've done. I'll probably do my makeup with it tomorrow morning and we'll see how it goes. And maybe I'll try and kind of tune in, maybe do a short little video and be like, hey, magic star and dazzling today. Um, so I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I really enjoyed kind of hanging out with you all and bearing my soul about my eyes and um yeah if you have any questions comments feel free to leave those in the comments down below and again don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you've not already subscribed to my channel and i will see you all in the next video